Welcome to this session on using the Configuration Explorer to redirect the default seed files. Now by default, Open Buildings Designer is configured so that the default seed files are located in the default data set, which typically is the regional data set stored on the local hard drive, although it could be a data set that you have customized on your network drive as we did here with this data set XYZ. But it might be that you would prefer to set up some seed files, perhaps for a particular workspace or even for a particular work set, and then you want to reconfigure or redirect the pathing in the software so that it finds the correct seed files. So for an example, I'm going to set up seed files in one of the workspaces that we set up. I'm going to open the workspace folder, and I'm going to use this XYZ workspace and we will set up some seed files in here and they would be stored under the standards folder under the seed folder. So currently there are no files in there and we're going to add three seed files. Now I'm going to copy these from the delivered data set and then of course you could customize them. So I'm going to come over here. I'm on my C drive under program data Bentley Open Buildings Connect Edition configuration. I'm going to open the datasets folder and I'm going to copy seed files that are in the dataset US. And those would be under the seed folder. You can see there's a number of different seed files. I'm going to select the design seed, the drawing seed, and the sheet seed arc. So I have those three files selected. I'll right click and select copy and come back over to my workspace standards seed folder and paste. So I've copied those three seed files. I'm going to actually rename them. I think it's always good to be clear so you know which seed files these are. And I'm going to, in this case, just put a suffix of XYZ, meaning these are my company workspace seed files. And I could open up any of those files and make any customizations or changes to them so that they become the standard that we want to use on all of our 3D design seeds or 2D drawings files and so forth. Now we simply need to get the configuration modified. So in order to do that, I'm going to open the configuration explorer. I want to make sure I select the workspace that I'm modifying. So that's going to be the XYZ workspace. And I'm going to select the project 123. And we'll process that. So I'm going to start by looking at the variable explorer just to understand what we have. I'm going to type in seed as my filter so that I find variables that control seed files. So we can see here there's an MS design seed that simply defines the name of the seed file to be used. This would be the default seed file. Every time you create a new file, this would be the default. And, and this one we're going to want to change. So it's our design seed under bar XYZ. And there's similar var variables for the drawing seed and the sheet seed. The other important variable would be this MS underbar seed files, which actually defines the folder location where the seed files are stored. And if we select that, and you can see this is actually, uh, it can have multiple folders defined, but it's always going to search the first one in the list first. And that happens to be that default data set. So this one we're going to want to change and prepend this list so that we first search our workspace folder. I'm going to go ahead and copy that one so we can paste it in our configuration. So I'm going to close that and we'll go open the file history. And I'm going to make these changes in the XYZ workspace config. In other words, I'm going to set these 
variables in my workspace config, and then they apply to all the work sets that are part of that workspace, so long as those variables don't get reset in this project config, because it goes, it reads them in order, and what's ever the last read will be the setting. Now, if I were setting up seed files for a particular work set, I would want to set then these variables in that work set config. So in this case, I'm going to select the XYZ workspace. Let's just scroll down here to the bottom. And we're going to put these variables in here. Now I'm going to add a few comments here. It's always a good idea when you're modifying configuration files to create comment lines indicating what you're defining. It just helps when you go back and try to remember what you were defining. So in this case, obviously we're defining seed files and we are doing this so that we redirect the seed file folder to the workspace. Now we'll start putting in the variables. So the first one is that one I copied. I'm just going to paste that in there. And then we're going to use a prepend sign. In other words, I want to add this folder to the list and I want it to be the first one in the list. So we use the prepend sign there. And then I'm going to define this as a variable. So I'm going to use the dollar sign and then a parentheses. And we're going to use actually the variable we see up here, use STN workspace standards. And we can see and we want to make sure we go to the seed folder. So we're going to go ahead and add that and then a forward slash. So that's the folder where we want to search for seed files. And then we're going to go ahead and set up the defaults. So we have the MS underbar design seed. And that we're going to want to be design seed and then we did underbar x, y, z dot dgn. And then we can also define an ms underbar drawing seed. And that will be drawing seed underbar x, y, z dot dgn. And there will be an underbar sheet seat. And that will be our sheet seed underbar xyz dot dgn. So now that we've set up those variables, we can go ahead and save and then rescan the workspace. And we'll again go to the variable explorer type in the seed filter. We can see here our design seed is now the design seed XYZ. Our MS seed files, if we select that here, we can see how this expands down here that the first location it's going to search is now the Ustation workspace is standards seed and that expands out to be the W drive CE configuration workspaces XYZ workspace standard seed. So that looks good. We're going to go ahead and let's close this and we'll open up open buildings designer and see how that worked. So I'm going to go back to my XYZ workspace. 
I'll select project one, two, three. And when we go to create a new file now, we can see that the default seed is coming from our XYZ workspace and it's the design seed xyz.dgn. And if I were to select browse, I would find the other seed files, the drawing seed or the sheet seed there as well. So you now have a basic workspace or a networked workspace set up and you have locations to store company standards, possibly client standards, your project or work set standards, seeing how you can begin to customize those and reconfigure the software to look in those folders rather than other default locations. So we did it here with seed files. You could do similar things with cell libraries or DGN libraries. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you and see you next time.